guys, welcome back into a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the new P warp command. So, so now, P warp is a great command. It means people can teleport to you when you're offline. So it's basically like having a teleport like this. See? And then when you click on it, it teleports you there. See? It did it. So, it's basically that without you sending out the message. So, to set up a P warp, I'm going to tell you how to do that in a minute so let's first of all let's get ready so what you're gonna do you're gonna find the place where you want to set up the p-walk so think about it so i want to set up my p-walk here so we do slash key and then warp and then so you do p-warp p-warp create and now in the brackets where it says name you're going to change the name to whatever you want. So I'm going to change it to Fart Ninja. There you go. So I've set my P warp as Fart Ninja 77. So now let's go into the P warp command. So slash P and then warp. And then enter. So once you've done that, you can look around. So you can decide. So let's manage. You click manage. And that is the, that's the comparator at the bottom of your screen. So, this is Fart Ninja 77, it says that, see, no visits today, and you can change that. The reason why there's no visits is because, if you left click on it, look, it's set to private. When you set stuff to private, it's no good because no one can teleport, so that's useless. So this is why you're going to click on it, and now it's public. So, if you want to change the icon, you're going to click on the item frame. So, I'm going to change it to, um, let's see if I can find a good item. There's not many at the minute, but they, I'm pretty sure they're going to update to be loads. So I'm going to set it as a blaze egg. Let's try and find one. Or a spider. So let's set it as a zombie egg. So that means that's a grinder. So now we can check what category it falls under. So this bar, this falls under category as a farm. Because it's a place where you can farm items. Okay, so this is how you rename stuff. Click on it and then you can rename your P-Warp. So this is how you change locations. Um, you just have to fiddle around that. I'm not going to do that in this video. So you can put it as active or non-active. So the farm and you can also set a price. So let's say you wanted to earn a bit of money. So let's set it as 100. There you go. So now when people come here, they have to pay $100 to come here. Okay, so now if you want to, you are going to click and that will remove your P-Warp. So I'm going to quickly do it with another P-Warp. So I'll show you this one. Let's look at this one. So this one, you can see it's $10. It hasn't got a name. It's pretty bad. So now we left click on it. And now we're going to click delete P-Warp. Make sure it's the right one. And confirm. So now I only have two P-Warps. I no longer have three. I have two. So that is how you delete P-Warps. Now, you can also set as favorite P-Warp. So this is my favourite P-Warp because I said I clicked on favourite. Okay, so if you want to vote on the P-Warp, so let's quickly go to someone's. Let's see if we can find someone's. So here's mine. We left. No. So here's mine. We right click and we just teleported there. And let's see. So let's click on that, kids. See, we just teleported here. This is an amazing new command that will help everyone so let's say you're offline and you say oh i don't have a set home at my friend's base but he has a p warp so you can go there when he's offline so it's a great new command to help people okay so let's go p warp now let's try and rate one so to rate i'm pretty sure no i did it wrong again i don't know how to rate at the minute but i'll soon find out Oh, so what you do, you go P warp and then you click on where you want to rate. So let's rate this one. Left click and you can rate it five stars. There you go. So you just got a rating of five stars. And that is how you rate P warps. So let's go back to our base. So technically, this is an infinite amount of set homes in this season. So you don't even have to have taste bud to set a home here. So it's a great way to get more set homes is basically having an infinite amount of set homes this command is the best command they've released so i hope you guys have found this video useful please like and su 
subscribe if you want to ask me any questions uh the comments is going to be left on so you can comment them down and i'll try and reply to as many as possible so i hope you guys enjoyed please like subscribe have a great day and bye bye